Hi folks and welcome to episode 5 of uh, my UX tip videos. Today, um, this video is on if this then that. And um, this is a term, it's not the uh, the automation app that you might use. Um, instead, this is a, a term I give to a, 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 a problem that increases cognitive load. UXers love to say cognitive load rather than thinking. Um, by, by rather than actually just telling the user what they need to know, is what the interface often does is it just leaves clues um, and, and and lets the user try and work it out. And that, that in, in, increases the mental energy that they have to expend in order to, to work it out or the cognitive load um, So in order to work those things out. So here's an example of how um, Google Assistant does this both good and bad. So, okay, Google, set an alarm for 10 minutes. 11.22 a.m. Set. Okay, Google, cancel my alarm. Okay, it's cancelled. Set an alarm for 10 minutes. Okay, 1.30 p.m. Setting your alarm. Cancel my alarm. So as you can see in the, the first example was was quite good. You know, I asked it to cancel the alarm and it said, yeah, I've cancelled that. Uh, in the second one, it loaded up my alarm screen and and, and, led, and led me to, to try and work out whether the, um, the action had been completed or not. And I could see by the absence of the alarm that I set that the, 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 the alarm had been cancelled. And that's not, that's not a great um, way to approach the user experience. Um, and and so interfaces do this do this quite a lot, and sometimes with quite important information. So take a look at uh, take a look at this example. Here's a, a tariff comparison uh, for Octopus Energy, which is a green energy supplier in in, in the UK. And so what, what I'm trying to do here is 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 find out um, the differences between the tariffs. So you can see in the middle here we've got the cheapest tariff, and that's a 12M fixed. So I'm assuming that's 12 month fix. That's that, that that's uh, that's fairly straightforward to me. I can see over on the left here. This is the one that they want me to choose, is uh, because they call it the most popular. And essentially, that's that's means that's business speak for we want you to choose this one. Um, so, and that one's more expensive. Um, so I want to see why it's two pound fifty a month more expensive, and whether whether I want to choose that one. This one's twelve month fixed. That one doesn't say anything about being fixed on the on the top, so I'm assuming that it's variable. But it doesn't make sense to have a variable um, tariff that's more expensive. So I need to read all this stuff to pick up. It says 100% renewable energy uh, electricity, um, and uh, the 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 thing's going to be fixed for 12 months. Okay, it pretty much says that there. So let's have a look in here. So what's the difference between this one and this one? Actually, is a 12 month fixed tariff. So again, I've picked up a I've picked up a clue that could have easily been displayed to me um, side by side that these are both 12 month fixed but I have to go in find another clue in order to to find the differences and this says this is a very greenest energy blah 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 a lot of mar marketing speak but essentially tells me um, that the um, that my gas is fully carbon offset um, through their partners okay so that leads me to think okay the, my gas is my gas is offset is my gas offset on this one Let's go back in. So, right, so it says about my electricity and it doesn't mention gas. Um, and so I'm led to piece together the clue that because it doesn't mention gas, then my gas isn't offset. And so in order to just tell the difference between these two tariffs, I've had to go in there, establish that that one's uh, 12 months fixed because it wasn't, it wasn't made obvious to me, then go find out it had renewable uh, um, offset gas Come back into that one, see if it had offset gas, find out it didn't, and then realise, okay, so the difference is between these two tariffs is one has offset gas and one doesn't. They're both 12 months fixed. That's very easy to, to display up front. It's just, it's just left a, a series of clues like a treasure hunt for me to try and uh, piece it together. So essentially my advice is, rather than leaving clues around the interface, when the, when the information's important, just tell them up front in a single place. 